And at the core part of all of us or none, we was talking about how do we engage to actually reassemble our families? How do we engage to actually have an economic impact on communities? Those are the, some of the bigger pictures. So, you know, I just said all of this shit right here to tell you in the most fundamental way I know how that I love you and I'm glad that you're here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dorsey wasn't afraid to speak on behalf of formerly incarcerated people. So if you don't know that somebody dreamed about you, you just met one. Thank you. I dreamed about you before you gathered. Thank you. I dreamed about you when some of us were still loaded. And throughout all these years, our success has been because Dorsey wasn't afraid to speak on behalf of formerly incarcerated people. Been honored to be a part of, of this movement with you. The most significant thing that he and I worked on together was the uh, support for the prisoners who were on hunger strike in California prisons, uh, challenging the, the Department of Corrections use of long-term solitary confinement. And he and I started working on that before the first hunger strike even happened. We went around and helped get together uh, supportive organizations to help form a coalition. And uh, he and I traveled to Pelican Bay together to talk to prisoners there. And that all led into a major civil rights lawsuit, which we were co-counsel with, and uh, ultimately a successful settlement that resulted in the uh, release of um, hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, people from solitary confinement, many of them uh, more than 10 years. Carol back there. <laughs> I'm standing on the shoulders of Carol, and she's an attorney that works at Legal Services for Prisoners with Children. Yeah. Right? So, you know, like, and you know, so it's like at, at times, I, you know, I can look out the crowd, and I can tell that at certain points I can see my heroes. So I can see Carol back there with her shoes. I had very high expectations of his leadership, and he more than exceeded the amazing, um, with the amazing work that he did and has done. Uh, birthing All of Us Are None, um, bringing about the whole national campaign around Ban the Box, um, inspiring a whole generation of formerly incarcerated people to speak in their own voices. The greatest accomplishments was convincing formerly incarcerated people that they had that uh, right to expect that the box be bad. Once they got it, I seen the light bulb go off. They can't put that smoke back in the jar. Those people will continue to fight because they think they're entitled to it. I am so proud of Dorsey. He is one of my all-time heroes. It's been an honor and a privilege um, to mentor him and to see the extraordinary work that he has done over the many generations. Dorsey, you've taught me to be unapologetic, unbroken, and uncompromising. I used to kind of feel like I had to do a bunch of code switching and um, strategically share my lived experience as a formerly incarcerated person with certain audiences and as a result of our relationship and this work we've done, I've been just unapologetic about my background. You know, um, it's become a part of my identity. You know, uh, almost sometimes ironically, because now I look back and I'm like, damn, I, you know, I was only a little bit part of my my life, but it's become so much a part of my identity because by virtue of who we are and our lived experiences, you know, we left comrades behind enemy lines and um, continue to do this work until all our people are free. Because I would have did this job when they hired me if they would have just simply fed me and gave me a place to sleep. So like a lot of people talk about work, 
I don't look at what I do as simply work. I think I'm engaged in the civil and the human rights struggle and what I'm fighting for is to actually kill a narrative that punishment works because uh, that narrative makes stuff somewhat invisible. It made slavery invisible. That punishment means that they can gun me down in the middle of the street and somebody asks me about my felony as opposed to the person who shot me. Uh, I, I think that they can ask me uh, questions. Uh, I have no compassion about uh, we are a family-oriented society and deny me access to public housing where my family live or deny me access to jobs. You know, my initial campaign when I came back and started working at Legal Services for Prisons for Children, I was committed to ending structural discrimination in all of its forms. And that's what, you know, I do. So when you ask me, you know, what is the mission of the organization? The mission of the organization is to fight for the civil and human rights of incarcerated and formerly incarcerated people. Yes, they've been taxing me. This is my capital. <laughs> you know, I'm taking advantage. This is my lawn. You know, how y'all like standing on my lawn? Ha, 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 ha.